Good morning, Tweety Birds. Happy Monday. We have a busy week planned. Now, this is the first week that we're only going to have assignments for four days. The district decided that on Fridays, it's going to be like a catch-up day. So any work that you maybe didn't get done, you can do on Friday. Or if you need other things to do, let us know. I would love, love, love it though, if you would keep working on your reading every day, even on the days that we have off. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing some things about weather. So you probably got some weather papers in the mail. So keep working on those, kind of charting the weather. There's a fun video that you can watch that kind of talks about different types of weather. My favorite kind of weather is thunderstorms. I love to cozy up and listen to thunderstorms. So this week, we're not gonna be writing a new book. We're gonna be doing some journaling. Now, I know, oh, careful, Ava. I know you don't have your journal at home, but you can use any paper that you have, either the stuff in the mail or if you have a notebook or something. So today I want you to journal about your favorite type of weather. Do you like sunny days, cloudy days, rainy days, snowy days? Do you like it when there's a storm and thunder? Um, in the video, they'll even, I think, talk about things like tornadoes and such. So write about your favorite weather and tell me why it's your favorite weather. Remember to think about all the different things we do when we do our sentences. All right, so then we are gonna work on our snap words today. Now, if you have the Jenga game, you can play snap word Jenga. If you don't have Jenga, that's okay. Just pick one of your favorite ways that we do snap words. There's that whole list that we sent your mom and dad. Now, if you're playing snap word Jenga, you need to have your snap word list somewhere close by because every time you, excuse me, Ava, it's not your turn. Every time you put one on the top, you need to read a new word. I just put one on the top and I think I'm gonna read here. Now, let's say it was Mabel's turn and Mabel put one on the top, but it tipped over. If you tip it over, then you need to read 10 words or maybe more, as many as you can, but at least 10. All right, in math today, we have some fun games working on equations up to 10. There's also a game called Spill the Beans or Spill the Cubes or Spill the, Spill the Something where you can create some different two-sided um, flippers and you can do equations as high as you can. So the goal this week is, or today is um, up to five, but if you can do six, seven, eight, nines or tens, challenge your brain. That'd be awesome. All right, friends, keep reading and writing. I miss you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.